Did you know that there's a very, very strange and often overlooked chapter in the tragic tale of Abraham Lincoln's assassination? That's right, Honest Abe's death almost turned into a full-fledged crime drama. After his passing, the president's body traveled for three weeks by train on a slow, winding path from Washington, D.C. to the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. This gave as many people as possible a chance to mourn as the train went by. For the next decade, Lincoln's white marble tomb sat undisturbed in the rural farmlands of Illinois. There was no real security to speak of, just a single padlock on the vault's door. That was more than enough to keep the gravesite safe, until 1876, the year a gang of goofy criminals hatched a plot to try and steal the president's remains. Why try and steal Abe Lincoln's body? After all, it sounds more like the plot of the next Nick Cage movie than real life. So what's the deal? Believe it or not, it has a lot to do with counterfeiting. You see, back in those days, banking was disorganized and counterfeiting money, documents, and other items was rampant. It was so bad that most estimate over one third of the cash in the country at the time was fake. Lincoln knew this was a problem and invented an agency tasked with fixing it, the Secret Service. That's right, Lincoln started the team that now protects the president. But in those days, their job was all about catching counterfeiters. And it wasn't long before they were truly put to the test. Our story starts with a counterfeiter named Benjamin Boyd, who was arrested by the Secret Service. Boyd worked for a Chicago crime boss, Big Jim Kennelly, who was furious about having one of his men behind bars. So what did he do? concocted a truly crazy scheme to try and get Boyd released. He was going to kidnap Lincoln's body and hold it for ransom. Once they had the body, they planned to ask for $200,000 and a full pardon for Boyd. The plan was brazen, but given the lack of security around the grave, the gang had a pretty solid chance of pulling off their creepy crime. But they made one critical mistake that brought the whole thing down before it even started. You see, being a small-time criminal, Big Jim and his men had no experience body snatching and needed to bring in another guy. The problem was they brought in a grave robber named Louis Sweagles, who just so happened to be an undercover informant for, you guessed it, the Secret Service. Wiggles told the Secret Service all about the scheme, and they quickly got to work hatching a plan of their own to try and foil the kidnapping. It all came to a head on the night of November 7, 1876. Swiggles accompanied the criminals to a dark, moonlit graveyard as Secret Service agents hid in the shadows, watching as the counterfeiters botched it every step of the way. For starters, they couldn't pick the padlock and had to slowly cut through it with a file. Inside, they realized they couldn't lift Lincoln's 500-pound coffin. They were stumped. As the dynamic duo weighed their options, one of the agents outside accidentally fired their pistol, which spooked the robbers, who ran away. But again, they weren't exactly criminal masterminds, so both men just went back home, where they were promptly arrested, thus ending the strange saga of Abraham Lincoln's attempted grave robbery. Today, you can still see Lincoln's grave at the Oak Ridge Cemetery in Illinois, and you can still see Secret Service hard at work, albeit just different work. Mm -hmm.